Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I'd like to do today guys is show you this effect as you can see on the screen in front of you here. This 3D look as this typography looks like it's disappearing into the background, really giving that sort of powerful um, feel to that, to, uh, to that typography. And what I mean, it's a simple process. Trust me, it's a very simple process for you to follow. So all you need to do is just take the steps um, that, I, that I, I show you today and create some cool stuff. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just use my hand tool by pressing space bar and just clicking and dragging to a point over here just so I can have some space to start designing. So I'm gonna use my typography tool, I'm just gonna click onto the artboard and type in blue sky graphics, wonderful. And using my selection tool, I'm just going to resize from the center point by pressing Option and Mac or Alt on Windows whilst pressing Shift also at the same time. Okay, so I need to create outlines on this typography. So with it selected, I'm going to go right click and create the outlines. I'm just going to apply a blue color like so using my swatches here. And I need to duplicate this. And we do that by pressing Option on Mac or Alt on Windows whilst pressing Shift to keep it nice and straight in line. And what I want to do now is apply a lighter blue to this. So have that selected, double click on the field here. And I'm probably going to go for about sort of a lighter blue like so. Okay, so we're going to select our first one. And if we go to effect, 3D and materials, I'm going to use 3D classic and extrude and bevel. And what I need to do here is come through and change this to 20, minus 25, and zero. And I'm probably going to say the extrude depth around 400. Okay, and now we're going to press OK. Now with this selected, I'm now going to go to Object and expand the appearance. And what I'm going to do now is come through and apply a gradient to our typography. Now it's going the opposite way at the moment. So I'm going to come and get our uh, gradient window open here. I'm just going to come and use this option here, reverse. As you can see, this stop here has the opacity, take, opacity taken out of it. But I'm going to double click and apply white to this, like so. OK, and now I'm going to select the bottom one and do the same process. So we're going to go to Effect, 3D Materials, 3D Classic, Extrude and Bevel, 20 degrees, minus 25, and 0. And we're going to say the extrude depth now to 0. And we're going to press OK. Yeah, again, I'm going to quickly expand this. So if we go to Objects and expand the appearance. Wonderful. And now it's just a case of using your selection tool to come and place it into place. Let's zoom in here a little bit using the shortcut command plus. And let's find, let's hide our gradient window there and just come through. And apply the typography. Like so. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website at bluesquaregraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, please take a look out. There are recordings on a weekly basis that are coming out. So please take, make sure you take a, take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.